Apprentice, you are looking at a very pleased man. Admiral Monk destroyed. The War Trust, no more. Now, with Jedi Zerinder and Master Wyatt neutralized, all of the Republic's most vaunted leaders are no more. Plan Zero is complete. Spread the word of my success. It only matters that I know and acknowledge your accomplishments. There is more to discuss. Much of it of a sensitive nature which I do not wish to convey via hollow. Return to my chambers here on Drummond Cass immediately. I'm back, Master. There is no time to waste, Apprentice. Listen up. Plan Zero was always my desire. I've been whispering in my master Darth Vengeance ear for years. Inciting full-scale war was but one goal. The other was the downfall of Darth Vengeon, so that I may ascend to his seat. That is what I thought. Then we are in sync. The Council doesn't appreciate being undermined. They're all but calling for Vengeon's head. A strike against him now would be met with universal support. How would you like to face off against one of the twelve most powerful Sith in the galaxy? What's stopping you from handling this? If Vengeon dies at my minion's hand, the Dark Council will shudder at how powerful I must be. There's another wrinkle. Darth Vengeon's apprentice, Lord Drog, has been secretly working for me, which Vengeon discovered before I could recall him. Vengeon's rage is growing. You must free Drog and face Darth Vengeon together. Why should I bother saving my rival within your organization? I said nothing about Drog being your rival. There is no need to fear him. In fact, he is rather in awe of you. Drog knows Vengeon's weaknesses and how to breach his inner sanctum. Administer this resuscitation drug to Drog. It will restore his strength. It will take both of you to overcome Vengeon. So free the apprentice and destroy the master. Be off. Lord Drog, Varus sent me. I'm administering a resuscitation stimulant. I, uh... I'm grateful to you and to Varus. I look forward to serving him directly once Darth Vengeon has been destroyed. We have been ordered to do just that. Then we'd better begin. Vengeon grows more powerful every moment. He's in his inner sanctum, communing with the dark side, channeling his rage and power. We have to confront Darth Vengeon there, but it won't be easy to access. It wouldn't be fun unless it was difficult. Varus told me you were spirited. Nice to see you come as build. Three outer rings of this compound must be breached before we can reach the inner sanctum. Then a key is needed to enter. It's Darth Vengeon's personal key, but I made a copy and hid it. I'll retrieve the key while you break through the outer rings. Then I'll meet you at the gates to Vengeance in a Sanctum. You run the gauntlet of Darth Vengeance security. I swear to you, I'll do whatever it takes to deliver the key. You'll see. We'll make a great team. You're every bit as proficient as Barris said. If I can inspire you, good. I need you strong and confident for what's to come. I know what we're up against. I almost didn't make it. There were traps in the passages. I got the key, but Darth Vengeon probably knows we're coming. If so, it's your fault. I'll make it up to you in the fight to come. If I should fall, I want you to know it was an honor to fight and die alongside you. Ah, the apprentices of Darth Berus. Drag, I will enjoy bleeding you anew. And you. Before you arrived, Berus was but a bit player. He would be nowhere without you. That assessment is where our common ground ends, Vengeon. Your talents are wasted on that man. It sickens me. Your master doesn't deserve you. He's a coward, pushing buttons from the darkness. You and I are people of action.
action. Sounds like you want to forge an alliance with me. No, that hadn't crossed my mind. I can handle Barris on my own. Still, it tickles me to imagine your master's expression if I came at him with you by my side. Ha! Why would anyone leave Barris for someone he's so easily duped? So easily exposed? Enough of you! No, I will show everyone what it means to cross me. Barris and everything with his stink must perish. You've been with Barris the longest, so you stink the most. You both die now! For years, I've dreamed of vanquishing Darth Vengeon. Glad to have had a hand in it. You fought hard and well. I didn't even break a sweat. You were remarkable. I have no delusions I would have survived this battle if it wasn't for you. This is your victory. You, Barris, and I will be unstoppable. Keep your ambition in check, Drag. I'd hate to end your tenure with us prematurely. I have no plan nor desire to disturb the hierarchy. There are things I must clean up here for Barris. I will meet you back at his chambers. Look upon me, apprentice. You have never seen me so pleased. And look around these chambers one last time. The humble trappings of yesterday. With our dismantling of Darth Vengeance complete, I assume his seat on the Dark Council and return to Korriban. It was my efforts that accomplished this. The seeds were sown long before your arrival. But I do acknowledge your essential role in the endgame. We ascend together, Apprentice. Only our combined strengths can propel us to the height of power. Ah, the third side of this triumvirate arrives. Lord Drog, welcome home. It's been a long time, Master. I'm ready to join the front line. There is a war to win. What is your command, Master? Now that I'm on the Dark Council, we are perfectly positioned to bring the Republic to its knees, to shape the galaxy as we wish. Go and enjoy this victory, my apprentices, but be ready for my call. I will not sit idle long. Apprentice, it is customary to bow when in the presence of a member of the Dark Council. You heard the man. Everyone. Bow to Dark Council member, Barris. My lord. Anything my master says? Noted. Uh, your eminence? Your people obey you so uniformly, you could learn from them. Bow to me while in the presence of outsiders, or you will be punished severely. Am I understood? I will bow if and when I'm so inclined. Such posturing is petty. Why must you task me? This is a time of greatness for us, Apprentice. We are at war. The Dark Council has placed me in charge, and battles are being waged across the galaxy. You and Lord Drog will oversee the most crucial confrontations. Drog is already deployed, and now I shall unleash you. I am not a dog, Barris. Since when have you been so sensitive? I do not care for it. We've caught wind of a secret plot that threatens to undermine the advantage you helped deliver on the planet Quesh. The conflict for resources on Quesh remains the most important of the French systems. This Republic plot must not succeed. Give me the details of this plot. Commander Olian will brief you. He awaits your arrival at the Forward Command Center on Quesh. I find myself nostalgic, sending my most prized apprentice off to war. This is the culmination of everything we've done. Save the sentimentality, Master. You are quite right. All we have done and will do is simply the necessary means to the desired end. I bid you farewell. Commander Olian, I am here on Darth Barris's order. Bring me up to speed. Not a minute too soon. 
All indications are that the enemy has been ready to strike for some time. If my reports are correct, they have us dead to rights. I'm thankful they've hesitated this long. They'll regret not seizing the opportunity. They may yet if we don't hurry. An elite Republic task force has found a cavern that tunnels beneath this command center. They've set explosives that will destroy the center and disrupt all Imperial military operations and communications on the planet. Only a fool sits and waits for death. My hands are tied, my lord. Operations here cannot be moved nor abandoned, and all my forces are engaged on the front. I sent what soldiers I had to search the cavern, but the survivors returned with blaster burns for their efforts. Here are rough coordinates of our best guess. Good luck. Has our mysterious problem been solved? Are we active? Sir, best guess is yes. All systems appear to be online. Your detonator should be live. Then let's pack up. We'll blow this cavern on the Imperial Command Center sky high. Only cowards fight from the shadows. Too late. We've been discovered. Stow it. We knew this was a possibility. Sith, I'm prepared to detonate even if it means we all die. You've just wandered into your own funeral. Throwing the switch! What? No, come on, detonate! Detonate! Ugh! If you want to die, let me oblige you. Men, hold the line. I'll try a reset. Detonate! Work! Blast it! Work! This is a mercy killing. For the Republic. Well, well, well. Well done. Mission accomplished, eh? Why are you bothering me? I have a mission of my own, friend. Captain Trajan was sent here by one of Barris's Republic moles. The explosives he set up were not wired to the captain's detonator. I have the real detonator. An elaborate trap for you. So, Barris is stabbing me in the back. Our master prides himself on being one step ahead of everyone. That includes you. He knew someday you would rise against him. You were his fiercest. I consider it a privilege that he's allowed me to pull the trigger. This will be your fate one day, Drug. You let me worry about that. Barris sends his regards. Goodbye. Interest justified. Shall I revive? Offer no help. We must be sure. His worth will be established by surviving the trek to safety. We will wait at the command center exactly one day for our proof. We are impressed. You are worthy to be the Emperor's wrath. You've got to the count of three to explain yourself. We are your ally, friend. Look on me. I am Servant One. This is Servant Two. We are the Emperor's hand. The Dark Council runs blind. We alone oversee the Emperor's will in the galaxy. What does that have to do with me? You have been called. The Emperor tasks the Hand with a great undertaking, and you are to become his wrath. Darth Barris seizes power against the Emperor's wishes. He must be stopped. Why do you need me to handle this? An empty hand can only slap. Since the Treaty of Coruscant, the Emperor has withdrawn from the known galaxy, preparing for a great calling. Varus learned of this and now claims the Emperor speaks through him. If the Dark Council declares him the voice of the Emperor, he will have supreme power over the Empire. Why would the Dark Council give Barris that power? The Ring of the Sith is tarnished. 
The Dark Council has been waiting for word from the Voice. Many are desperate for it to speak again. But the true Voice has been silent. And in its absence there is nothing to deny Barris's claim. Some on the Council truly believe. Others see an advantage in supporting him. And Barris plots against those who oppose him. The threat dies when Barris dies. He is too powerful to confront now. The Wrath must build before reaching Pitch. Your crew awaits you at your ship. They have been informed of these developments. Varus means to force the Council to bow, but he believes you to be dead. That is our advantage. Return to your ship, and we will advise you what can be done to thwart him.